the drain wave is a sewer dosing unit, so it's a, a tipping bucket inside an enclosed box which takes wastewater from the house and gets it out and through the pipes in a great big rush. The application that we've got here is for absorption trenches which are, come off the back of septic tanks. So what you find is that the water from the house and then the septic tank at the moment with the current designs is trickling out the first couple of holes. But the drain wave lets 10 litres of water go in a great big rush in about five seconds and that tips the water all the way through the pipes and we get a very even distribution. We're running four tests to look at the difference between slotted pipes and uh, 110 sewer pipes with holes drilled in them and the difference between 0.2 litres per second and the drain wave which doses a 10 litre volume down the pipes. Zero point two litres a second, which is what uh, most taps, washing machines, and dishwashers run at. So these would be the normal flow into an absorption bed. Pretty much, um, we got two thirds of the water in the first two buckets, and then one right at the end. And so there's been no distribution through the middle of it all. That means the beds will be soaked at one end and the other end. We're letting 10 litres of water go in a, in a dose from the drain wave to see the dispersion when you put a lot more water through all at one time. It's already primed up and there's just about another litre needed to tip it. So I'd say what, what we find is that we don't lose it out three holes, we do get it over most of them, but it's still not exactly even in that most of it seems to have come in the first one. Test number three. We were thinking that it would evenly distribute over the pipe, but it hasn't. It's got to the first pipes and leaked out. What that means is there's not enough water going in a surge to get all the way through. So we're going to run the drain wave next and see what the difference might be. Basically, we think we need a wave right the way through it to push it through all the holes. The distribution looks to be absolutely even the whole way through. All of the containers seem to have exactly the same amount of water in them, so the distribution's been pretty much perfect. And so we find that we've got a very even distribution of the waste, which is then able to soak into the ground. So conclusions from today's testing. We found that the first three didn't provide a sufficient dispersion across the absorption beds while the 110 pipe with 8 mil holes at 500 millimetre centres and the drain wave with 10 litres gave an excellent result.